Greetings, senseless people and surrounded by freaks, so welcome back to Pokemon 3D here with my Kingler today. We are finally ready to face uh, the Indigo Plateau and the Pokemon League, but first a bit of shopping. Kingler, what do you want? Do you like these shoes, Tiffany? This is your new nickname, Kingler. It's the case to buy. Mmm, full restore, yes, yes, definitely. I have only two in inventory. I need at least... Um, let's go with 10 in total. I shouldn't care about uh, spending too much money. I have 13 Hyper Potions, let's go with 15. And Max Potions, let's go for order 2. I wish there was also Elixir or uh, something like that. Oh, full heal, uh, yeah. Uh, 10 Revives, let's go with 15 Revives. Okay, I spent big money, but I know that I also found earlier uh, while training my Pokémon um, where is it? Oh, there it is, a big mushroom, yes. We all know that big mushrooms are very important currencies in the Pokemon world. Anyway, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready, I don't know how else to prepare. I train a bit my Pokemon off screen. Now I have uh, level 52 uh, Typhlosion and Kingler, and level 51 the rest. Will it be enough? I think it should be enough. And soon... Uh... The Overlord of Johto will appear at the wall! Uh, that, that sounds like they hanged me at the wall, to be honest, but I meant uh, on the... Uh, how do you even call it? A uh, honor wall? Victory wall? Uh, hero wall? However you want to call it. Anyway, sounds like today I will teach Ash... This is actually not Ash, this is red, but sure. Ash is based on this trainer, but let's be honest, between the two there is like uh, a day and night, because uh, in the anime Ash uh, has never been able to win a Pokemon League as far as I know, I don't know, in the, in the last, uh, in the last uh, anime uh, sagas, but back then, back in my days, Grandpa, I'm about your age at this point, um, in Johto and Kanto, he wasn't able absolutely to get even close to the victory, and today I will show him who I am. If I remember correctly, the Pokémon that the first of the Elite Four will choose, I think that Ampharos should be the best choice. Maybe also Sudovudo, but I seem to remember that the first Pokémon that he sends is Xatu, and also he has a Slobro. And probably another Xatu. So, if Slobro has a water type attack, uh, Sudovudo is not good, so let's go with Ampharos. Today is the day that I will defeat the, the last thing that stands in my way from conquering the whole of Johto and being named the Overlord by myself, obviously. I will defeat the Elite Four, I will defeat Lance, that kinky bondage fan Lance, and then claim what is rightful. You just interrupted my, my speech. How, how dare you? You don't talk to me, I talk to you when I choose to. Huh? I will claim what is rightfully mine, I was saying before being so rudely interrupted. Beyond this point is the Elite Four and the Champion. Ha! Huh? And the Overlord, don't be ridiculous. Uh, I have a much higher grade than them. Once you enter here, you cannot leave, except in complete defeat, or as the new Champion. You may proceed when you are ready. Thank you, step aside, peasants! Uh, okay, I've said step aside way too many times in last episode. Good luck on your quest towards victory. I already explained you, and maybe I go this way, huh? How about that? How about if I go this way? There is nothing here? Okay. But maybe I could give uh, my victory speech over here. People from Giotto! You have a new overlord today. That makes me sound like a World War II dictator. Anyway... Maybe I am, what do you know? Haha! <laughs> We're about to face the Elite Four and the Champion. We have to defeat all of them in a row, otherwise I will be defeated and probably I will be ashamed to continue this Pokémon 3D playthrough. So you will probably hope that I will be defeated after all. Ah yes, this is be oh hello, mm, looking sexy there. This is uh, the Pokémon League of uh, Pokémon Gold. I remember in Pokémon Hard Gold they remade a bit this building was much better. Every room was much more uh, interesting rather than this simple generic uh, uh, room. So, this is the first one of the Elite Four. I must say, he, he's my favorite. He's the classiest bitch of them all. Uh, look at him. I don't absolutely remember your name, 
but maybe I can remember your number. Anyway, let's stop being gay and let's fight. Welcome to the Pokemon. Oh, wait, this is a classy voice. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Um, allow me to introduce myself. Um, I am Will. Oh, such a, a boring name. I don't remember his name in my language. Well, you didn't choose your name when you were born. I guess your parents didn't realize how fancy are you with no offense for all the wheels. <laughs> I have trained all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. And let's see Elite Four will. Told you, I remember clearly that Xato was his first Pokemon. So, who is that is effective? Uh, ah, level 40. Mm, that means that the Pokemon League champion would probably be level 50. Mm, I don't like it. So who is effective against psychic Pokemon? Um, dark type. I have only one dark type attack which is mm, owned by Sudovudo. Then again using this charge it's super effective. Yay! Good job Ampharos! We can we should try to one shot as many of them as possible. Another Xatu, okay! <laughs> That's not such a good choice, my dear Will. Uh, I haven't trained enough all around the world. I love this. I love this soundtrack. I love this soundtrack. I, I am having memories. Memories. So many memories. Thank you. Oh, it was even level higher. Oh, Executor. Mm. It's not very good uh, for uh, Amphoros. Actually, Amphoros just learned. Uh, Signal Beam. Is Signal Beam super effective on uh, on Grass? Yes. Is it also super effective on uh, Psychic? Should I risk it? Or send Typhlosion? But then he has a Slowbro. Let's go with Signal Beam. I will try. Yeah, super effective! Maybe it was even four time effective. Amphoros learned uh, Signal Beam just at level 51, so I was lucky to bring him there. Ooh, I'm decimating Slowbro! I'm decimating your team! Oh, you have only 5 Pokémon, not even 6. My Amphoros is like the weak point of your team. With- Oh! Interesting, it was super effective, but he managed to resist, good job! I think uh, that with the signal beam uh, it should be enough uh, to defeat you. Nice! Just earlier before starting recording this episode, Ampharos reached level 52, good job! I was uh, thinking how cool would it have been if... Uh, oh, Jinx! Yeah, in this case uh, I should uh, really send Typhlosion. Go, my dear Typhlosion! Let's teach them! Uh, to not try to stop the overload of Jota. I mean, I know they're just doing their jobs, but still. Lovely kiss, what does it do? It failed. Be gone, that! How dare you try to roam as my Typhlosion? Don't be ridiculous. Flamethrower, I thought well to my Typhlosion. Stay away from girls. I mean, what? <laughs> Being way too gay in this episode. Bye, Jinx! Be gone, that! Nice. What will? I'm sorry, I mean, uh, you you were even rather good, he, your Slowbro was good. Point is that my Ampharos was rather the death of your team, so... But still, good job. I... I can't believe it. Don't worry. I can already see from your sprite that you have style and you have taste. You are going to be part of my army once I'm done. How does that sound? Me? General Price, second in command, Whitney, and uh, pss, youngster Joy. We will be unstoppable. Anyway, even though I was defeated, I won't change my curse. I will continue battling until I stand above all trainers. You will in my army, don't you worry. Move on and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. I see, I always remember a friend of mine uh, was saying that uh, the Elite Four was actually the remaining four trainers, so the other three trainers of the Elite Four plus the champion. Because this guy says, oh, go on and see the force of the Elite Four. 
So he was, since he was dumb, and my friend was dumb, he was getting confused. But actually, he is the first one of the Elite Four. It's just that the fifth trainer is the champion, so not theoretically part of the Elite Four. Hello, and here we have a Naruto fanboy, a ninja, but anyway, it's time to heal a bit my Pokémon. So, as I was saying, I was thinking how cool would it be to have in Pokémon games a Pokémon League different from this one that is just a gauntlet, but have something similar to the Pokémon League of the anime. I seem to remember that uh, it, it used to be uh, that Ash had to win uh, four or three out of five uh, uh, matches uh, in the preliminary group, let's say, as soon as they arrived to Indigo Plateau, and then uh, uh, if uh, he would have won them, and he did, he would pass uh, to the final tournament, which was like a tennis tournament. You win, you go on, you lose, you get the hell out of my sight. And of course, being the shit trainer that, that he is, he never even went close to the final match, at least back in my days in the, in the first few sagas. I know that he did uh, go close to the final and win the league in the newest uh, uh, sagas. I think it would have been very cool if they did something like that in the games, but I will continue talking about this later. Now we face this guy, that I don't absolutely know how it's called. I chose the Typhlosion because he uses many Bug-type and Poison-type Pokémon, so my Typhlosion is very good for that. What kind of lot is that? Should I give you a Naruto voice? I don't know how to sound extremely dumb, so I don't know. <laughs> I think that I talk a bit like this. I am Koga of the Elite Four. Hello, Koga. I live in shadows, a ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister technique. <laughs> Pokemon. It's not merely about brute force. You shall see soon enough. You're right, it's not just about brute force, it's also about knowing your opponent. And since I'm older AF, I know exactly which Pokemon you have. I, you have Ariados, I seem to remember you have Fortress, and then uh, I don't remember anymore. Uh, Arbok, maybe? I'm not sure. Anyway. Obviously, I, I know I, I am myself from the future. It's like if uh, I am facing a game that I played many years ago, even if obviously I don't remember much of it. We have five Pokémon as well. I think the Elite Four at least should have five, uh, six Pokémon. So, a way to defeat uh, your uh, status uh, attacks is simply to one-shot all of your Pokémon. How about that? How about that, Brish? Ariados was defeated. Ariados? Ariados? Ariados, maybe. Crobat! Interesting. But guess what? My Typhlosion has Thunder Punch. Level 44, though. Ouch. 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 I'm not sure I'm high level enough. I mean, I'm not worried for the Elite Four. I'm worried for the Champion. Ouch. Uh, he used Double Team. Double Team is not good in uh, this game, or better, it's very good in this game. Hmm, I don't know if Flamethrower is stronger than uh, Thunder Punch or not. Let's try. Come on, Typhlosion, that is a bite me! Burn the whole area, it's made of grass after all, yes! Get wrecked, Crobat. That, that's cheating! Cheating! Cheating, Koga is cheating! Let's write it everywhere, hashtag... Koga is cheating, uh, trending on Twitter right now. How dare you wing attack me? Let's try with another Thunder Punch to finish it off. Yes! Your double team, your Kagebushi no Jutsu is not good enough for me. I mean, have you seen my cosplay? In two days, uh, the day after tomorrow, I will have to... Uh, well, not have to, I will uh, go to a con, another con. I will wear my Dazu cosplay. Show everyone uh, that who should have been the protagonist of Naruto, not that stupid blonde kid. Uh, Mac! Oh, you think he's good enough? He's poison type, and I have an earthquake. Haha! <laughs> Probably you're hearing my spacebar getting clicked quite powerfully, but uh, you know, it's, uh, it's because I want to be dramatic. Don't you dare poisoning me. Metaflusion is poisoned. 
and he will start uh, not only poison but badly poison so he will start losing more HP each turn that he loses HP because uh, of the poison. I needed my Typhlusion because he has Fortress later. Or maybe I should send my Sudovudo because he cannot poison my Sudovudo. Well, I mean, who cares? I have uh, I have antidotes. Let's send Senslash. Come on, my dear. Minimize. Ouch. Hey, stop! Damn it! This muck uh, is. Uh, Tougher than I thought. Let's dig and uh, ruin your your floor. Uh, you ruin your uh, Pokemon League, your Indigo Plateau. Haha! <laughs> Come on, hit him! Come on, your ground type. You can do this. One shot him. Damn it! Stupid minimize. Gunk shot. Ow! It's a critical hit even. Look at him! His mark is much stronger than I thought. Let's try with another dig. And let's hope he won't use minimize again. Toxic. And it failed. Come on, Sandslash! I believe in you! Sandslash, you're not believing the heart of the cards. And Sandslash is bad badly poisoned. Damn it. Uh, his mark! Uh, the point of this game uh, is that uh, using... Moves like Minimize and uh, Double Team are way too overpowered. Come on! It's very hard to hit him now. Yes! One shot him! That's right! Good job! Good job, even critical hit! If you hurt someone with a critical hit, you will fall by a critical hit. This is just something I just made up. It's time to change my Sandslash, swap him with someone else immediately. Good job, Typhlusion, level 53. And good job, my dear Sandslash. Who is next? Venomoth! Yeah, it's a, it's a good uh, thing to send... Mm, Noctowl or Sudovudo? I think both of them could be good. Mm, I don't know who to send. Let's go with Sudovudo. Come on! At least he cannot be poisoned. And let's see... Psychic! Ow! That's a good attack. But with Rock Slide, I'm pretty sure I should be able to destroy... Ow, oh, Supersonic! Don't hurt yourself in confusion! Okay, Sudovudo. Let's be clear here. You're the worst one of my team. That's obvious, by far. But I believe in you. I believe in the heart of the cards. Wrong game, I know. Who cares? But I know you can do this. We are the Pokemon League. Sudovudo, you know that deep down, I care about you. You know that deep down, I chose you for my team! And I know you don't want to disappoint me! Go! With Rock Slide! <laughs> Damn it! Should I try with another one? Come on, let's try! Psychic! Ow! He hits himself in confusion again! The Wudo is gone. Yes! That's right! Super effective! That was actually tough. And now Fortress. I don't know if to call it Fortress or Fortress. He, I think he's Bug Steel. So the Wudo has low health. Sand Slash poisoned. Typhlosion poisoned. I don't know what could Noctowl do against him. King Glair, I choose you! Yes, I'm going to be extra dramatic for this episode. Have any problems with that? Go King Glair, my dear. <laughs> I'm face palming so hard. Koga, you just did Allah Akbar! Why? It was like it was your last Pokemon! You, you just said, okay, I'm going to lose this match, but I will <laughs> I will try to faint one of his Pokemon by Halawak biting my Fortress and lose all my chances of victory. Well, for sure, it's a strong attack, but it's not good enough. My Kingler was full health. Well then! Tell me now that he says, I can't believe I lost! Well, obviously you lose if you make... Your uh, po last Pokemon, the Lakbar. Ah, oh, you have. Uh, what was his voice? Ah, you have proven you're worthy. 
It seems like a, a, an old junk rat. Just that? I subjected you to everything I could master. But my efforts failed. I must hone my skills, whatever hone means. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to test. That was tough. His mock. I was afraid that his mock would have defeated the whole of my team. That would have been terrible. I remember. Back uh, in the... F oh, right. My Tefusion is poisoned. Let's uh, uh, heal him. In my first uh, time playing the Pokemon League, I was trying to look around this area to see if there was any secret. <laughs> I w I've always been like that in, ev in every video game. Searching secrets everywhere. Okay. Oh, only nine antidotes. I thought I had more. Oh, well. One for Typhlosion, and one for Sandslash. So I was saying that uh, I wish that they would have done something different for the Pokémon League, or maybe make a Pokémon League alongside this one in the video games. That was more similar to the anime Pokémon League. Okay, so, Super Potion for Typhlosion, and uh, how cool would it have been if uh, you would face a Pokémon League Similar to the one that we're facing right now, but imagine, since it's a tournament uh, in which there were many, many trainers uh, from all over Johto that participated in it, uh, every trainer that you face, first of all, you have to face, like, what? Like, eight trainers in a row? All of them with six Pokémon, all of them with six high-level Pokémon. You can even heal yourself halfway through, it's okay, it's not such a problem in my opinion. But all of them are different, and all of them ha have Pokémon that you don't expect, that you don't know, because they're randomized. That would be amazing, in my opinion. And it would add a lot of longevity to it, uh, because after all, uh, you can face this league uh, that I'm facing right now how many times you want, uh, but uh, the trainers will always be the same, and the Pokémon that they use will always be the same. Therefore, uh, f you faced it once, uh, it's the same if you face it so many times again. Probably here I should go with a super with hyper potion. Let's go for my brave Sudovudo that totally ignored my amazing epic uh, gladiator speech. Fine then. I think it would have been amazing that every time that you face the league, uh, there are different trainers and different uh, Pokemon, uh, and when you defeat the last one, you're the Pokemon League champion. In my opinion, it would have been amazing. But anyway, I will keep showing Ash how it's done, uh, and how you pass a Pokémon League, even if Koga really was really hard to beat. Now, we're facing this fine gentleman, who obviously, looking at him, I remember Pokémon Gold, he didn't have long hair. Or at least his sprite didn't have long hair, is, uh, as far as I remember. Obviously he's shirtless, uh, because he has lava in his room. Uh, it's a bit hot here, but alright. I mean, I am not complaining. Look at those abs. It looks such a fat ass, but sure. Mm -hmm. uh, he has fighting type Pokemon. Therefore, uh, Noctowl is probably the best solution for them. What does Noctowl say? If I talk to him now. Noctowl is feeling nervous and touch claustrophobic. Yeah, me too. Ash, watch and learn, little bitch. I am Bruno! Oh! <laughs> actually, I didn't expect his name to actually be Bruno, because it has the same name in my language, in the version of my language. Maybe also Koga, if it's for that. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. I always train to the extreme, because I believe in our potential. That is how we became strong. Can you withstand our power? Mm. I see no fear in you, because you haven't ever watched my Skyrim playthrough. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready? You will bow down and give me a blow. I mean, uh, to our overwhelming power. Hoo ha! Okay. Cringe. Hit him on top. That's interesting. Now, I remember clearly that uh, he has fighting type Pokemon, so my Noctowl is very good against them. Then again, Fly. The uh, flying attack of my Noctowl is not that good uh, of an attack, it's not very strong, very powerful. Also, he has... Uh, quick attack, how dare you? WHAT?! That's way too much! Come on, Noctowl. Believe in you. 
Super effective! Yes! He has either a Machok or a Machamp. And they know Rock Slide. Hitmonchan. Ah, wait though. Hitmonchan has also Thunder Punch. Uh, I think I should be able though to defeat him. If I manage to defeat Hitmontop, I sp- You're level 42! How dare you! If he has Thunder Punch, Kingler is no match. Ampharos, Sand Slash... My Typhlosion should be good against Hitmonchan, but if then he sends Machok slash Machamp that knows Rock Slide, my Typhlosion will have a bad time. He also has an Onyx though, I remember. I think I will just have to change Pokémon uh, uh, depending on which he chooses. There is no way to have a Pokémon that suits all his remaining Pokémon. Let's go with Typhlosion now. How dare you knock my Noctowl out! You will pay for this. Hidmonchan, no pity for you. <laughs> You're not faster than my, my Typhlosion, huh? This makes me remember something. Oh! Thunder Punch. How dare you! His Hidmonchan is strong as hell! Come on, Typhlosion! Fusion is fully paralyzed. Hey, hey, no, 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 that is cheating. Oh, really? Oh, really? My Teflusion is fully paralyzed three times in a row. But if you want to cheat, I can cheat as well. Oh, 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 full restore for my Teflusion. Uh huh. Uh huh, Fire Punch. Very smart. Yeah, that's right. If you want to cheat, I can cheat as well. Little bitch, don't you dare paralyzing me again. Oh, I thought so. Let's finish him with another flick. No, 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 no. This is unacceptable. So you, you are so tough. Oh, yes. Oh, look at me. I train so hard. My Pokemon are so good. And then you cheat like that. We will see. We will see. We will see. Yeah, yeah. Sooner or later, you will finish your stupid... Uh, uh, the r full restore and let's go. Well, let's finish him with a flamethrower finally Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. How about that in Oh, you're sad. Oh, you're so sad in Yeah, I know I, I never I never liked fighting type Pokemon. It's probably the type Pokemon type that I dislike the most It's Mon Lee. That's stupid. That's a stupid choice. You know why? Because now, just out of uh, defiance towards you and Hitmonchan, I'm going to use my full restore. Actually, wait, full restore, no, doesn't work. I'm going to use, uh, where is it? I know you're here somewhere. Revive, not good enough. A max revive on my Noctowl. Oh, my Noctowl is full health again. Swagger. <laughs> you have no swag compared to me. That reminds me something. The fact that he has way overpowered uh, fighting type attacks. Once uh, I was fighting in. Uh... Oh! Oh, he's confused. That's what Zwagger is. As you to remember, in my language, it's called bully. Um, fly. Let's hope he won't be confused uh, next uh, turn. Well, you just had to fly high, it's not like you had to do anything particular. Come on, Noctowl. High jump kick. But this is ridiculous! My Noctowl knocked out twice in this fight, just because he has cheating, overpowered fighting attacks. I was saying that. I would have liked a Pokemon League uh, like I described before this fight. They did something similar. That was the Battle Frontier, that in my language is called the, the Fight Tower. In Pokemon Crystal, I played it in Pokemon Crystal and Pokemon Hard Gold. Point is that the statistics of the NPC's Pokemon were absolutely overpowered. It was basically cheating. I remember when a Machamp was faster than my Typhlosion and there was absolutely no way. And uh, I remember that looking at uh, forums, I was in a Pokemon forum back then. Ah, uh, it means this time. 
It more least struggled and crashed. I hope you crashed in the lava, you stupid fighting type Pokemon. Uh huh. Oh oh oh! Look who's about to kill you with a cat. I will show. How many food restores do you have? Don't don't worry. I will I will defeat you with a flamethrower now. I don't care. I don't care. You're gone now, Hitmonlee. You're gone. That's so. That's so. How dare you defeat him my Noctowl twice in a row. Onyx! Hmm. Well, Onyx is not a strong Pokemon. Do you think I would be able to defeat him with an Earthquake? Or should I send uh, my Sand Slash? Or my Kingler? I think sending my Sand Slash is a good idea. Come on, Sand Slash! You can do this. So I was... Uh, uh, in a Pokemon forum uh, back then, back in my days, when I was... Uh, oh, Earthquake! I was afraid of this! I thought that he had something like that uh, uh, that would have been super effective on my Typhlosion. That's why I sent my dear sensors. Point is uh, that uh, if I go dig, uh, which is super effective on Onyx, but Onyx uses Earthquake, it's going to be very bad on my Sandslash. But let's try. Come on, Sandslash! I will de oh, if I deep burrow underground, am I going to go in the lava? Maybe it's Gatorade. Ah, damn it. Earthquake. We need to one-shot him. Come on! Yes! Good job. Sturdy! Can you stop cheating? Look at him! I have no fear in my eyes, but you have a lot of cheating in your eyes! Stupid bitch. Ah, oh, you weren't able to do that. And guess what? I'm going to finish you with a slash. Not very effective, but it's good enough to take away one HP from you. Whew. This Pokemon League is tougher than I thought. Machamp. Well, 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 well. I think Ampharos could be good enough. Does he have Earth-type attacks? I don't think so. I think he has uh, Rock-type attack, Rock Slide. And fighting type, so Sudovudo is not suited for that. Sandstress has very few health, Noctowl is out. Ampharos or Kingler? I would go with Ampharos. So, basically, in that forum we were talking about the Battle Frontier, which was absurdly hard. It always seemed like... Uh, revenge of what? What are you talking about? It always seemed like that... The, he, the opponent's Pokémon were way too overpowered, and then they realized that the statistics were absolutely bullshit. They were absolutely bullshit, because uh, they were impossible to achieve. Nice, with another Discharge I should be able to KO him. Come on, Ampharos! Yes! Get wrecked! No! How dare you! Citrus Berry, but in this game, if you have a Citrus Berry and you go KO, it's not like all the Pokemon games, if you go KO, it's not like you can eat a Citrus Berry while you're dead, while you're KO. But here you can apparently. Maybe it's this idiot that forces him to eat the, the Citrus Berry, just engulf his mouth with Citrus Berries. Stupid idiot. Sore loser. Uh-huh, Machamp is fully paralyzed. Guess what? I'm gonna finish you off with this attack. Don't you dare using... Uh, okay. Oh, wait a second! Machamp has 30 plus Citrus Berry plus Revive plus Cheating Bruno of shit. Uh-huh. Not this time. Not on my side. Wow. And I got worked up for this match. Whew. To be honest, I don't even know what to tell you. I despise you like crazy. I despise you in a way that you have no idea. What do you have between your legs? Huh? What is that? Your dick hanging out? I have no words. I have no words. You fat ass. I even called you sexy. How dare you treating me like this? Defeating my Noctowl twice because of your hacks. Huh? So, why? How could we lose? We cheated so much! We used the uh, aimbots! We used hacks that I downloaded! He was saying that Steam wouldn't have been able to detect them! I got Vagband! You got Vagband, idiot! Having lost, 
I have no right to say anything. Go face your next challenge. Hope you drown in the lava. I seem to remember that he was tougher anyway than the last Elite Four, the next one that we have to face. Obviously, because he cheats like crazy. Anyway, while I healed my Pokémon, it was proved that those uh, statistics were impossible to obtain. Basically, to make the Battle Frontier difficult uh, and more challenging, Nintendo and Game Freaks decided to cheat, and it was something that you could clearly see, because, for example, let's, let's say random numbers. My Defrosion has a speed of 250. It's a random number. Then, knowing the base statistics of another Pokémon, let's say Machok, you know the fastest he can be. You know how high his speed statistics can be. Let's say he has the best natural for speed. Let's say uh, the trainer used uh, many... Um, I don't remember which is the one that gives you speed. Carb? I, I, I don't remember uh, which one is. Or iron or zinc, whatever is. Let's say that he gave everything he could to Machok. If his maximum speed is not 250, is below that, then there is no way that a macho can be faster than a Typhlosion. I repeat, I'm saying random stuff, it could very well be, but there are po slow Pokémon that cannot be faster than a certain uh, speed statistics. Sure, they can have rapid uh, claw, but that's an exception, it was uh, happening way too often uh, for it to be credible. So yes, they did uh, the Battle Frontier, which was some kind uh, of uh, Pokémon League tournament. Point is that, in my opinion, they totally ruined it by trying to make it more difficult uh, and, and cheating like that. So, in fact, me and many others didn't even bother uh, doing much uh, Battle Frontier because it was an unfair challenge. It was simply an unfair challenge. To win it, you had to be lucky that uh, the Pokémon chosen by the opponent would uh, be bad against your type, because they would get many critical hits, their statistics were absolutely mm, too overpowered, and all in all it was simply unfair and frustrating, so I didn't even try to, to go through it that much. And here we are to the last Elite Four before the champion lands. This one is named Karen, if I recall correctly. But we will have to face her in the next episode. She has, uh, as you can see from uh, the, the abyss around this. Uh, why are you so dramatic, Elite Four? One has, needs to have uh, lava, the other one has the abyss. If you fall down here, it's game over forever. She uses dark type Pokemon. And uh, I must say that I like her. Because, uh, even if she has unstylish grey hair, once you defeat her, she says one of the best quotes of the entire Pokémon franchise, in my opinion. That, though, we will hear next episode if you decide to follow me through it. And I will send Noctowl first, because uh, I, I, Noctowl needs a bit of redemption. I believe in you, Noctowl. You were unlucky. I know, he cheated. You couldn't do anything about it, stupid aimbot Bruno. Anyway! I'm surrounded by freaks. Hope you like it. Next time, Karen. I think I will pass the night here. Well, the, the night, some days here. I mean, uh, if you want, we can do some activities uh, like Monopoly or, you know, playing video games, playing Pokemon 3D. So, I'm surrounded by freaks here with Karen and my Noctowl in the Pokemon League in Digo Plateau. Can you imagine Karen just waiting days? Okay, are you ready? No, no. I wait days here, then I will face you, maybe. Where is the door, anyway? The door disappeared, there's no escape. No worry, Karen, I'm fine with you. So, see you next time. Bye-bye. Initiating hacking sequence. I'm in. <laughs> what? That's way too much. How dare you! <laughs> hey, hey, no, 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 no. You think you're defeated by Pokemon? Think again. This is unacceptable! But this is ridiculous! <laughs> yes!
Good job. Think again. Sturdy! Can you stop cheating? Yes! Get wrecked! You think you defeated my Pokemon? No! How dare you! <laughs> no! No! How is it possible? He's stronger than my Hux! Hope you drown in the lava.